more you can do with the pebble. I realized that, and it's due to a couple of different things. The the which is the same problem with the glass, to be honest. Right. So so, but now what I'm realizing is because I'm on the iOS seven beta, and they've started to open up Bluetooth stacks for notifications. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if everyone's getting it because I haven't seen anyone else really post anything about iOS. But like, I, I get my. I don't think they're allowed to right now yet. That's true too. Probably. So. Well, I would think that in the in the developer forums, I even went through the the Apple developer forums to look for people posting about mm -hmm. it cuz they people talk about the devices they're interacting with. Mm -hmm. Like I'm getting Facebook updates or notifications on my device. Yeah. Whereas you really don't see that on the iOS side. There's a lot of interesting things you can do with the Android side, but it's seems to be more of a hodgepodge of load this app on Pebble, then then load an extra third-party app on phone. Android. Yeah. And have Tasker. So there running. seems like a lot of rigmarole to get. This, this is not an everyday solution for regular people. Now, now here. So, but as far as like basic notification, mm -hmm. it works great. Yeah, I get, I get my um, text messages. I get phone notification. I can leave my my phone plugged in at the other end of my desk with head with my Bluetooth headphones turned on. I can control podcasts i'm listening to i can pause i can play if i get a phone call i can i can pick up the phone call without reaching over mm -hmm. so i i do like it in that aspect now the other thing i've noticed too is is that <clears throat> with text messaging i liked it while i was driving mm -hmm. because i don't have to try to reach down and pull the phone out of my pocket while i'm driving or pull it out of the center console i'm driving I just look at my you just watch, look down. and that's kind of the same. That's kind of similar to how I feel with this thing too, because I feel like as text messages came in, I'm not really taking my road, eyes off the road. I'm just peeking up, and and when, anytime I say that, like you know, the, the the topic came up on that that talk show last week or two weeks ago, and they're like, "Really, you're going to be talking to read text while you're driving?" I'm like, "Well, not really, but I mean, <laughs> I think anybody." And he's like, "Well, people are going to be wreck driving off cliffs with this thing," and I'm like, "No." Idiots are yes, yeah. but idiots well, are already doing that with cell phones. It's no it different. It's no different than looking at your stereo and seeing what station you're tuned to. Exactly, or anything like that's you know, the what thing I say. Playing, or if you're looking at your GPS, or your, what, what speed, how fast are you going? You right. glance down and if look you're at the, the kind of person that already has five fender benders because you can't check your radio appropriately, <laughs> you should not get one of these. You should not get one of these. You should not have your cell phone on in a car. Maybe you shouldn't have a license at this point. Lock I, your I, cell phone in your trunk <laughs> before getting in the car. Toss it in a glove box. Yeah. I think that should be the rule. And like, I should have about, a little mark on my license that says, if I get pulled over my the cell phone is not in my glove box <laughs> or powered off, then you get an extra ticket because you're not responsible enough to do it. Remember, it's a privilege, guys. Yes. <laughs> but I look at it as like those quick notifications. I can quickly glance down at it. In a meeting at work, it's, it's more... It, yes. It, it, it's more acceptable for me to glance at my watch mm -hmm. than for me to pull out my phone and slide to open and, and type in a password. Let me ask you, and, I honestly don't know. Is there really a fashion, like, is it more t like receiving or is there an input on that? There's input. Now, obviously, you only have four buttons to work with, so you're kind of limited in input. You're not, I, I can't dictate to it. I can't. There's no keyboard. There's no. It's there's not like a, a selector, screen. and that's it. There's a pretty much a selector, and that's it. Mm. But like, I can go in and I can open up an app that I loaded, and I can view my calendar, Twitter. I can control volume on my my phone. I can look at my reminders. I can do GPS type activities. I can. The the one cool thing there's an actually a Find My Phone <laughs> app. So if you can't like you your phone's in the cushions or something like that yeah yeah you tap it so, so you it, have a device you're not going to lose and it sets off the uh, it sets off a ping on your you phone. talking about the iphone or an android this <laughs> is on i think it's on both okay um but like i can and obviously my phone's in my pocket yes but still that's, that's awesome. but until i find my phone if you're the person that always loses it in the house like i do like i don't know how many times i come down here to grab something from the studio or change the li the, the laundry and i sat down the phone somewhere mm -hmm. stupid and i've walked around two of the floors of the house looking for where the hell did i put this thing and also we hear it coming from the floorboards you know i mean that's i think it's no things what's the, the uh the capabilities with that is it just a, a pop-up notification? 
It's a pop-up notification and they're not cached. So if you... And that's why you're asking about these. Yeah, that's why I was asking about those. Cause so if I get a text message and then another text message, okay. unless there's something no. I haven't okay. figured out yet. And to answer your question for this, it, like I said, it's a timeline. Not so much if you turn it off, you don't. I don't think you get like what you missed. Okay. But it's what you've received while it's on and connected. Uh, sometimes I do get past stuff if I reconnect to a Wi-Fi though. Okay. You've seen that. Um, um, so when I it will it will update that. Uh, it only happens if you get a new, uh, like for instance, Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. When I had a Bluetooth to my phone, um, if I received a new text message and there was previous messages in that stream. Mm -hmm. It loads all of it. Yeah. Not just what you've received. So it's like a th it reloads back the same oh, thread. Yeah, yeah, only if you get a new one. Okay. Yeah. But, because, I mean, there were times where um, I would, because uh, I, I would only get text messages on my way home from work, um, not tweets, because there's no Wi-Fi and I don't have a hotspot like Sword does in his pocket. Um, pocket. But and you can so, get an SMS because you have the Android phone with the tether. Right. Yeah. So. It